Welcome back, everyone. Our Back to School series A Plus Eats continuing this morning. The whole idea we're inviting folks in the front lines of feeding Connecticut's kids in school into our kitchen to share recipes that the kids are actually eating with the hopes that parents can replicate it at home. Abby Dubois, good to have you here. Farm to School Coordinator, East Hartford and other communities. Grateful you're in our kitchen. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. I have already cheated. I've already sampled it. It is delicious. What are we making today? We are making some corn and tomato salsa using fresh corn and fresh tomatoes from Handel Family Farm right in East Hartford. And you are the one with the culinary expertise. So we're going to let you get started awesome. cutting up this corn. Wonderful. What I think is so beautiful about what you do and we have pictures to share this morning is you are so connected with so many of the folks in the front lines of producing all of this great produce talk about that relationship yeah so as the farm to school coordinator in East Hartford uh, one of my big jobs is of course getting in touch with farmers so uh, figuring out who's growing food who's interested in selling to the schools and then purchasing that food getting it into our cafeterias as a lunch bonus or as a taste test kind of uplifting student voice letting them tell us what they are interested in eating um, it also supports our small farmers as well so allowing schools to make those purchases is huge I also work in the school gardens in the district so getting community involved um, bringing taste tests and food like this to the farmers market so that it's not just kids who are receiving fresh local delicious food it's the community as a whole and part of what is so great about this is that there's no cooking involved which is awesome what I picked up from my years as a substitute teacher is that the food is only good if the kids are eating it right right and you have come up with this really great idea you're cutting up the corn I'm cutting up the tomatoes you have kids vote it's really interactive talk about how this all unfolds yeah so when we're making food especially in a school cafeteria we want it to be really easy so that the kitchen staff who are working um, just to get everything prepared and delicious for the kids, they are able to make this. And a no-cook recipe that is just cut and serve is really great for that staff. And then when we're having kids try it, what we want to find out is if they're going to like it before we purchase more of the food. And so we have these taste tests where they get to choose if they loved it, liked it, or tried it. And then that tells us, the kitchen staff, if they love corn and tomatoes, we're going to buy a lot more corn and tomatoes. But if they they don't love it then we're not going to buy as much. I have folks in your line of work speak directly to the moms and dads at home who say there's no way my kid's going to eat this or try this. What have you learned through the process about you know entertaining the palate of a young person? Yeah I think that honestly kids just want to be heard and and like you said, entertaining that palate is understanding that sometimes kids aren't gonna like what you feed them. And that's why uplifting that student voice is really important because we find that when kids are able to vote and there's an option where they can say it wasn't for me today, um, and then they also get a sticker afterwards, uh, they're more likely to try something. They're allowing their opinion to be heard by the adults in their school building, which is hugely powerful. And then, like I said, it informs what they eat and how special is it to be a kid that tried this and then a week later it's on the lunch line. All right so with 15 seconds to go what do you say to folks at home who say my kids are all you know they're used to eating frozen nuggets and frozen yeah. fistics you have reimagined this. Yeah I would say if your kids if you need help getting them to try a new food get them out in the dirt teach them how their food grows bring them to your farmers like Handel Family Farm and introduce them to the people so that they understand it's powerful. Interactive locally grown and delicious Abby thanks for joining us in the Fox 61 kitchen. Thanks for having me. 